Welcome back to ever back in another video or actually this will probably just be all new people because I know that my team, Team Forever, the subscribers that I already have are probably not watching this video because my Big Brother videos already don't get enough views as it is but now I'm talking about a season of Big Brother that's not even on the air anymore and not only is it not on the air right now but it hasn't been on the air in more than 10 years. So going back to 2005 I think this is. Big Brother 6 or 7, All Stars. I'm about to react to this. Well, not react to it, but I'm about to talk about this season. I This is my first time watching this season. Uh, if y'all don't know, let me just give y'all the background of me. I am a huge Big Brother fan at this point. It's my favorite show on TV. But I just started watching last year. So I watched season 20 live with, uh, with everybody else. So I watched live feed. I'm a big live feed watcher. I watched Celebrity that year. Well, yeah, that year. And now I watch season... Yeah, this celebrity. So I watched Celebrity earlier this year, and now I watch season 21. I also watched Big Brother Canada season 7, which, Jesus Christ, that that was a horrible season. I personally didn't like Celebrity that much because I feel like they were treating the game too personal. And then season 21 was like the worst season ever. Well, it wasn't worse than Canada season 7, but I'm watching this, and it's just as bad. So I'm actually watching, uh, well, Big Brother 21 was just as bad. Y'all can see my reviews inside the archives. Big Brother has his own playlist on my channel. But now I'm watching Big Brother 7 All Stars and I want to talk about this. Alright? Like, I watched season 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. I already watched all of those. So the only seasons that I haven't watched is season 1, season 2, season 3, season 7, which I'm watching right now, season 8, and season 9 of the North American version. But I want to talk about this with y'all. So if y'all, you know, I hope that this. Get some views. Let's let's talk about Big Brother. If y'all already seen this, like leave comments. I am already spoiled, unfortunately. I know who won and I know who the final two is. And I didn't actually know who the final two was until I watched reviews of Big Brother 21 and somebody said it because they kept talking about, oh, there's been never been a showman to Big Brother history to make it to the finals. Big Brother 21, they did it. And but now that everybody's like, oh well, all stars, there was such and such and such and such. So well, I guess I can say it. Uh, Boogie and Erica. I'm assuming Erica and Boogie become a showman, and Erica's sitting next to Boogie when Boogie wins. And I wasn't even sure if Boogie won, but like I'm, I'm spoiled unfortunately. But I don't know who the final three is. I didn't know who went home first. But let's just get right to the video. So first of all, the cast. Now I watched season four a long time ago, so I really. But I kind of, I think I remember season four more than I remember season five. And I just finished season six. So, of course, I know season six. Uh, I, let me know if y'all want me to review, like, each season. Like, wow, I'm, like, four minutes into this, and I have not talked about anything. Let me speed up. All right, so the cast. Allison from season four. Now, when I saw her, I remember her being, like, a villain. I didn't really like her that much. She went on the show with a boyfriend, and I felt like she was sleeping with everybody. Danielle, season three. I'm really excited to see her because I hear Danielle Reyes... I think that's her name, said a lot as one of the best Big Brother players of all time and how she was robbed in her season. And I really wish that she wasn't robbed. I wish she would have won because if she's that good, and like, I don't know, like when she was standing on that for the HOH competition, that little podium, I thought she was so cute. I don't know how old she is, but she looked really good. Diane, Big Brother season five. I'm trying to figure out how is she an all-star because I don't remember her really at all. But I wrote down here that she was voted out by her showman. So showman season five drew one. That's savage. He voted her out. But I think he voted her out just to keep a promise. So it wasn't like he didn't think he could win against her. So kind of lame. Uh, Erica, again, why is she an all-star? I don't remember a thing about Erica. Actually, I think I do. I remember that her, her boyfriend was on season four with her or ex-boyfriend, and they were rivals the whole season. Then they became friends. I guess Allison is her rival, because Allison voted Erica out. Erica is not an all-star, period, because I don't remember a thing about her. George from season one. Chicken George. I'm just glad that they put somebody on here from season one. But apparently the, the game was not even Big Brother. It was completely different for season one. Howie, Big Brother 6. Howie kind of creeped me out. I, I like him a lot, but... Watching season six, it was one, at one point he was sitting on a block with Rachel, and Rachel went home, and he like went over and kissed her like five times back to back, just while they were on the couch. And I'm like, damn, okay, calm down, Jesus Christ. And then like he always kissing all these girls on the cheek, which you probably like, how's that creep? Like it just is. 
Like, I don't know. Like, he kissed all these girls. He's like, oh, always talking about, like, their boobs. Like, he kind of just, he kind of creepy. But, you know, he, he harmless at the end of the day, I guess. And apparently, he used to be a stripper. I can see how he's an all-star because fans like him. If they had America's vote, he would have probably won. Or actually, Janelle or Kaser would have probably won. But he would have been inside the top three. Uh, major underdog season six. Then we got James. I'm so happy. I love James on season six. How did he win all those vetoes? Like, he won, like, five vetoes, six. Like, one of the vetoes he won, he don't even get credit for it because he won it for his girlfriend. Like, I'm so excited to see him. And he's really active on Twitter. I knew of him before I watched this season, and I did not know that he was going to be the star of that season. So, I like, not interact with him on online and he always replied to me so big ups to James shout out to James I like him a lot I really like James I'm excited to watch him on this season I hope he do better on this season than he did well really he did amazing on season six he just didn't win like he did as good as he could have done being a target from day one or day two or week two he did he did amazing if, if they had America's vote he probably would have won fan favorite he would have been up there too so yeah and he got played dirty. His team could have done much better if it wasn't for Howie's mistake. But I'm excited to see James. I cannot wait to see him on this season. Next is Janelle. We go from good to great. I love Janelle. I love her inside. The only thing I didn't like about Janelle, one thing, is when she called Yvette's girlfriend ugly as shit. <laughs> that was hilarious. It was hilarious, but it was kind of mean because Janelle girl or Yvette's girlfriend actually liked Janelle, was a fan. So that's got to be embarrassing to be watching TV and then you hear somebody call you she said you ugly as shit. <laughs> like, damn. Um, or ugly as hell. Uh, love Janelle. And, but, but I do, I have heard that she like a comp beast and all this stuff. But I didn't really see it that much in season six. I feel like that was more James. So I'm excited for this season to see what goes on with her. And I, I, I do know that she gets inside of a flirt man with Dr. Will. So I'm excited to see that too. Next, we got Jace from season five. I remember him from being very annoying. I wasn't a fan of his, but he was a big target for a long time. And I remember him, uh, was he like the first person ever to get back door? I, I think. I think he was. I don't know. But I can see definitely why he would be on this season. And I'm liking him a lot more on this season so far. I've only seen the first two episodes, by the way. In case I, or maybe three episodes. However, I saw up until the first eviction. So, Kaser. What up, Kaser? I love Kaser. I thought he was cool as hell. I don't, nothing really bad to say about Kaser. Like, he... I didn't think he would be as good of a player as he is. He's amazing. Well, last season he was amazing. He knew... Like, he's like, this is what's gonna happen. Y'all gonna be a duo, we gonna be a duo, and they gonna be a duo. And we gonna make it to the final six, and then we gonna fight it out. Kaser was that boy I liked him last season. I was so upset to see him leave the second time. But it was his dumb mistake, because why would you... You just got back in the house. You don't throw no HOH, period. Marcellus. Now, I know he's from Big Brother 3. I do know of him because I didn't see the season, but he's he didn't use the veto on himself. I hear about that from other people's reviews a lot. So he's he's dumb, uh, but I don't know anything about He's gay. Uh, Mike Boogie, season 2. I seen him in Big Brother season 14. I actually kind of liked him in Big Brother 14, but he's rivals with Janelle, and I like Janelle, so I'm excited to see how that plays out, uh, and I think he won, so Boogie just looks so old to me, like this season he looked old, season 2, they show throwbacks, he looked old, season 14, he looked old, so like, I don't know what's going on with him, like, then we got No Comus, is she the first person to ever do a backdoor, did she invent backdoor, I don't know, but I can see why she, uh, I don't know. Nothing much to see about her, say about her, but she's from Big Brother Season 5. Uh, then we got Will, Dr. Will. Evil Dr. Will. I'm excited to see him play, but can I just say, watching this, I did not expect him to be like this. Like, first two episodes, like, he childish as hell. I didn't know he was like this. Talk about he's the best big player, Big Brother player of all time. But And if he is, when did he get this moniker? Because this season, they didn't target him on day one. So, when did Dr. Will become the best player? I need, Maybe I need to watch season two or something. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. But I do want to talk about a couple, well, a couple of the other choices that didn't get picked. The only ones that I noticed that I, I caught my eye was Yvette from Big Brother 6. And I was glad she didn't get picked because forget her. I hated her on her season. And Cowboy from Big Brother 5. He was the runner-up. Both the, both of them were runner-ups. And forget him. He was so boring on his season. And I didn't like him at all. And I don't know why he was even put on for All-Stars. So, 
In the end, we got one person from Big Brother 1, two people from Big Brothers 2, 3, and 4, three people from Big Brother 5, and four people from Big Brother 6. So, we get into the house, and first thing everybody notices is how many people from Big Brother 6 it is. Jace called it out right in the beginning. It's like, this is Big Brother 6. And I remember listening to one of Evil Dick's podcasts. He said All-Stars wasn't really All-Stars. It was just Season 6 with a couple other people. But I disagree. It's only four people from Season 6. Like, some season was going to have to happen. Well, no. Actually, they could have... They could have just put a third person from Big Brother 2, 3, or 4, and they only had three people from Big Brother 6. But to be honest, Big Brother 6 had the most all-stars to me. Like, all of them deserve to be all-stars. Some of them from Big Brother uh, 5 are not even all-stars to me. Big Brother 4, 3, I don't. I haven't watched Big Brother 3. So I think the three, the people from Big Brother 3 really are all-stars. But some of them other people, like Big Brother 6, to me, they all belong there. They all belong as all-stars. Well... If you had to take one out, I guess it would be Howie. Howie didn't really do much. Um, so, then we get to the HOH. Let's just get right to the HOH comp. So, it, Jace and Janelle ended up winning. So, basically, one group will go first, and then the other group will have to throw balls and try to knock someone down. But, you know, it was kind of weird because I feel like if the ball hits you, you automatically fail. Like, it was no dodging it. I think Will, like, it was hilarious. He rode the ball. Like, it's just like, what the hell? And he tried to land back on it. Like, I did not know Will was like this. Like, it took me by surprise. He's childish as hell. And Dr. Will looks like, because I'm used to the Dr. Will of now, salt and pepper, looking old. Somebody almost killed poor Chicken George. That was hilarious. Um, Danielle, I was... She looked intense, and this is when I really, like, flaw how cute she was, because she was intensely trying to win that competition. And how the hell did they let Janelle win? Like, y'all know how... Well, actually, I think Jace tried to knock Janelle down and keep Danielle, and he ended up knocking... Yeah, that's how that happened. So Jace and Janelle are the... Um, HOHs. There's two HOHs this week for some reason. Uh, I found out that Marcellus and Danielle don't like each other, so that's, you know, I'm learning about season three. And I kind of want to watch season three a little bit. Uh, I started with season four because I feel like season four, like at that point, they, it probably would be the big brother that I know now. But I probably will go back and watch season three. So, uh, Danielle, so basically, Julie tells them that if they don't come to a conclusion on who the two people they want to nominate, then. They will be the nominees. So Jace is playing a good game. He basically tries to get in with season six while also campaigning against season six. Danielle comes up with this plan to, if they don't, I don't understand what she was looking for at this point. Can somebody help me out? She told Allison, if they don't pick, they become the nominee. So we got to tell Janelle. But Allison was like, why would we tell Janelle? What, you want to get Jace out? And I agreed. Like, what is going on? I didn't understand her logic. It was kind of confusing. But either way, Allison ended up telling everybody inside the house. I thought Danielle was overplaying at this point. I felt like she was by shooting herself in the foot, and I thought she was about to go home. Uh, but the nominees ended up being, like, it got back to De Janelle and Jace. And they ended up putting up Allison and Danielle, and I thought that was the best option. Like, I'm like, yes, these people are smart. Put up the two people that's telling everybody this. Because they were, they, and then Jace was like, listen, we was going to put up Chicken George and just get him out. Like, oh, God, first, uh, season one. He's lucky to be here, all that, like, but Allison, and then Danielle made a good point. She's like, I told Allison this. Allison the one that told everybody. But I do think it was a bad idea to get Allison out first. But I guess I kind of just forgot how well Allison played. She did make it to the final two. I found it funny that the two runner-ups were, well, two of the runner-ups were, one of them was about to leave first. So they went from leaving last to leaving first. Allison campaigns to James. And James made a good point. He's like, wow, like, I'm doing a good job of separating myself from season six. Because if she thinks that I'm not with them, and I, like, I, that's why I like James. He's a good player. He's hiding himself, shielding himself from season six. But then he was campaigning against Danielle, I mean, Allison. And Allison was listening, but nothing came of that. So we get to the veto competition. The other two players picked were Kaser and George. Uh, it was like they had to rummage through all this trash and find vetoes. And I really like this competition. I wish they would bring it back and do it again. I, I really want to do that competition if I'm on Big Brother Season 21. Put it inside the universe. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Season 21, Christy, love you. Look at my reviews and y'all will see my obsession with Christy. Yes, Christy. Um, 
So, Janelle ended up winning the veto. No surprise there. I'm excited to see how she's about to beast through this comp this season. I think that she's going to win a lot of competitions. That's just what I think is going to happen. So, Will and Howie. Why did I put Will and Howie? Oh, Will and Howie. They they um became like a bromance, showmance, whatever. Will is super mean. Called Howie retarded right on TV. <laughs> like, it, it's weird, but whatever. The, uh, how he's obsessed with Will. I wrote that down because uh, Julie asked him about that. Uh, Janelle kept the nominations the same. I'm really surprised that they ended up voting out Allison. I just felt like that was a bad idea because if, if Danielle is known as such a good player, but Allison is too, but the difference is people literally said that Danielle was robbed and should have won. They don't say that about Allison. So I just feel like they should have got rid of Danielle, but I don't know. Maybe she leaves the next day. So we get to the HOH competition, which is, oh, and the people that didn't vote against Allison, it was only two people. I know Nakomas did it, and I don't know who the other person was. I don't know if it was Diane or maybe Marcellus. I don't know. Uh, Julie was very shady in her interview with Allison. She had basically called her slut. <laughs> she was like, uh, yeah, last season you was in the bed with everybody, you know, didn't care. You had a boyfriend. And, um... Allison was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know that uh, this one is serious or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Allison says that she's rooting for Danielle, surprisingly. But they were tight at first. They were talking a lot. And Allison respects Danielle. Allison was a fan of Danielle. So I actually really do like that. HOH competition, Allison rules. And basically it came down to Kaser and Nakomis because everybody got out in one question. At one question, not in the first question, but then, what up, okay, sir? He won. I was really excited, like, in my bed. Like, I already thought the season was good, but I just started, like, dancing and screaming. I was so happy Kaser won because I'm four season six. I like all of them. Like, they're, like, some of my favorites. So, I want them to keep it. And Kaser won HOH. Yes. But he's making himself a big target because Will and Boogie already want him out, unfortunately. I hope he lasts long, y'all, but I, I'm really excited to see this season. My favorite, well, it's it's hard for me to say because I already know who wins. Uh, but say my favorite to win, but like out of everybody in here, like, I really like Janelle. I really like Kaser. I like Janelle more. I like Janelle James. Um, I'm I'm not liking Will that much actually. Um, I like Erica. <laughs> like, that's so weird because I just said oh, I don't think she should be an all-star and all this stuff. But I don't know. Like, she was crying so hard because she voted Allison out. I was like, maybe this was a mistake. Like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Oh, I really like Danielle. really like Danielle a lot. Uh, I've seen the clips of Will's speech when he says, I want all y'all to vote me out, all that stuff. But, like, I'm excited to watch him this season. I really, really am. And I know that he makes it to jury. So I know he doesn't get evicted in the next couple episodes. But uh, Kaser's HOH. And that's what I'm figuring. I'm like, okay, Kaser won HOH and he's smart. And James is in his alliance and James is smart. So why didn't they get out Boogie and Will? Well, just put up Boogie and Will initially. Because I have no clue who he's putting up. No clue at all. My, my idea would be put up Boogie and Will and get one of them out. You know that they're in alliance. They're in the same season. And Will's supposed to be the best player of all time, so get him out. Like, uh, I don't know who, who what's about to happen, but I'm so excited to watch. And whether this video gets zero views or a thousand views, thank y'all. Well, if it got zero views, I guess I'm thanking nobody. But thank you to anybody that watches it. And stay on this journey with me. Let's watch this season. Because like, Big Brother is not on the air right now. Don't look like we're getting Celebrity Big Brother. Big Brother Canada Season 7 suck. I'm also watching Big Brother Canada Season 5. So... If you don't like this, I will be reviewing that too. So, until next time, y'all be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all forms of social media. And until next time, catch y'all later.